afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1 1 home. Temperature pretty seasonable for this time of year 55 degrees at game time. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Ready with another 2 2. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. So one away here with the bases empty, and up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Grounded to third. Devers has it. In time to first, and there are two away. So striding in Austin Meadows and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season lays off two and two now bases are empty here with two men out and a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired. Digging in now, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the one and one delivery. Sent on the ground out to second. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Into the box, Alex Budugo. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him one and two. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one on to first and they get the double play. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's gone over his first six at bats in the series so far. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Striding into the box, Hunter Renfro. They'll get us started in the top of the second. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Renfro is retired, and there's one away. And that'll bring in Yandi Diaz. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez, an impressive four for seven. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. So digging in now, Brandon Lowe. Four hits already in the series through seven at bats. The 3 2 pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Devers. 
swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. G Man Choi, the next to hit. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Martinez comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Striding in, Willie Adamas. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The two and one on its way. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next 3 2. He is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Now the one and one pitch. Doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. On the ground for the shortstop, Bogarts. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Now in the box, Christian Vasquez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. A 1 1. Hard ground ball to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. A swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Outside in a full count, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. He'll go to the bag for one. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So coming to the plate, Jose Peraza. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 1-1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Lau's got it. And the inning is over. Back to the top of the order now, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Now 
So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. And that ends the inning. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here's the 1 1. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And that's the second out. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He was the winner of the AL Silver Slugger Award at shortstop a season ago. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Renfro is camped under this one. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. New inning set to get underway. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Hunter Renfro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Hunter Renfro goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2 2. He is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Standing in, Brandon Lowe. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. The 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back the right fielder to the track, to the wall. And that is into the visitors' bullpen, a home run. So now to the plate, G-Man Choi. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Devers has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Rafael Devers the next to bat. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is drilled but right into the shift. Oh and it eats him up a bit. The center fielder. Number five. Kevin. Stepping in now. Kevin Pillar. Oh right back to him on the mound. And there's one down now. On to first, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And now it will be the catcher, Christian Vasquez. The 1-1 home. Misses for the second ball. This one's down to third. Oh, what a play. He gathers the throw. Got him.
Into the box now, Willie Adamas. He'll lead things off for Tampa here in the sixth. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now that. Digging in, Mike Sonino. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar is there now and he has it two gone. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Yeah Maddie he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night changing speeds hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. The count now at two and two. A full count to the Rays center fielder. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Verdugo waits on it. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Ready for another chance. Michael Chavis. He'll lead it off for the Red Sox here in their half of the sixth. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ground ball right into the ship. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now at the plate, Mitch Moreland. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Ready once again. Jose Peraza. He flew out in his last at bat. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Playable for Verdugo. And there's one gone. Coming to the plate now. Austin Meadows. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Count remains two and two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The next 3-2. Gets him looking up around the letters. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. No hits to this point. One run, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. 1-1 one, one is a cutter that misses 2-1. and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Even 2-2 two and two count to Hunter Renfro. Still two and two. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone into the monster seats. Uh... 
Standing in now, Yandy Diaz. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Verdugo. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now back. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. There's ball four. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Xander One and two to the Boston shortstop. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch or he's going to start getting hurt. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he is in there. At the plate, Rafael Devers. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Rafael Devers becomes out number two this inning. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Sent on the ground out to second. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Josh Taylor has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 72. Ready to begin the eighth. Into the box now, Brandon Lowe. He's one for two in this one. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Pilar is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now Digging in once again, G-Man Choi. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Another try at 2 2. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. In now, Willie Adamas. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Now the 2 1 pitch is strike two swinging. Still even at two and two. And the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Digging in, Christian Vasquez. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally 
and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. Choi is under it to make the catch for the first out. So here's Michael Chavis now. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Three and one. 3 1 count, tying run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on 3 and 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Oliver Drake answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rays, number 47, Oliver Drake. In now, Mitch Moreland. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now back. Standing in, the Jose Peraza. He's working on a one for three thus far. Peraza. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Chavis at second with two down. This is line to left. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Ryan Brazier enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So here's Mike Zanino. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. It's fouled away. The one two. Bonnie oh, takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. Now batting. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Kiermeyer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Oh. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. Two balls, one strike. Count even at two and two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically here's a fly ball well hit Verdugo looks up and this one is gone a home run into the box Jose Martinez and he's a little too high with that one two balls and a strike with this one almost in the books the story was clearly the long ball what are your thoughts on this offense fellas well Manny V I don't know what your thoughts are D world but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches yeah just great approach no one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it full count three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH popped him up under it is Bogarts and there are two away now Riding in once again, Austin Meadows. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. 
to two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Hit sharply toward the right side. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. The left field, number 11. Hunter. To the plate now, Hunter Renfro. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. High chopper to third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And another foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Nick Anderson comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 70. Nick. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Alex Verdugo. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. Another one sent foul. Once again, a 3 2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first now out. Back. Stepping up now, J.D. Martinez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. All even now, 2 and 2. fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Striding in for now Boston, that. Xander Bogarts. He comes to the Xander. plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Now that the third baseman, Rafael. At the plate now, Rafael Devers lifted in the air out towards left center. Catch is made, and the Rays have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Three-nothing the final score in this one today. Tampa Bay used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Ryan Yarbrough notches his third win of the year. Eduardo Rodriguez takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. Nick Anderson earns the save out of the bullpen, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The for the victorious Rays, three runs, four hits.
No errors, and they left one man on base. For the Red Sox, no runs, six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 41 minutes. Our Fedway Park paid attendance this afternoon, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their 